and welcome back to another video! Okay, so... And um, today for this Free to Play Friday, because technically this map is free to play because you can download it for free and everything. Um, uh, even though Minecraft itself is not free, uh, this map technically is. And I just want to quickly rant about this map. So, if you didn't know, Minecraft is turning 10. I think it's actually today turns 10. Um, and it, uh, uh, they've been doing special little things to celebrate that. And it, uh, um, I do believe this was made by some guy who um, was totally separate from Mojang and Microsoft. And then I think they like came, went to him and said, like, can we put this up on the store or something as the 10th anniversary. Anyway, so basically this was made by another guy. And it, uh, um, I'm just going to explain why I think this is a little bit naff. Um, and if you don't know what naff means, because I think it is, it is a very British thing to say, uh, word naff. Um, it basically means not very good. Um, and I'm gonna, it's, it's not god awful, but it's just not very good, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna explain why when we get into it. When it loads. <sighs> okay, we're in. So we start off in this little area here. And we get a minecart. And the, the, then uh, you go down here. And, the, you, and you get this uh, cool little area down here where you just ride and get down. And then... Uh, lag. And you use the command blocks, you know, you go through like pre-alpha. Uh, Halloween update, alpha, uh, adventure update, and I think, yeah, I think it was in between, yeah, pretty scary update, I think it was in between, somewhere in between the pretty scary update, and, uh, the, um, yeah, a hot redstone horse update, uh, somewhere between those two updates I started playing Minecraft. Um, update that's changed the world, bountiful update, frostburn update, exploration update, crawler update, aquatic update. But is there anything missing from here that you noticed? Maybe something that changed. Uh, the base of Minecraft fundamentally and it implemented, like I said, some of the be best features that I made a video on. Why, why it was not only one of the most underrated uh, Minecraft updates, but also uh, um, the be one of, if not the best, Minecraft update. Yes, that's right, there's no 1.9 uh, combat update in this. Now, it's just like, yeah, sure, you can have your opinion. You can like it if you like it, you can dislike it if you dislike it. Um, but come on! No, not even worth a mention. It is like sure it doesn't have some small updates, but it's not like 1.9 was not a big controversial update, and it had and people on both sides had very strong opinions. And this was probably built before um, Pillage and Village, so that probably explains why that's not here. But come on, and uh, this is cute. Um, it basically has. When, uh, so 170, 05, 09, 17, 05, 09. And yeah, that is pretty cool, like the little uh, door using command blocks. And, you know, you have this little area with every block in the game. 
and a lot of barriers. Um, and at this point, I was like, "Yeah, this is really cool. This is uh, really cool." You know, you get see, is there a barrier block? There's a is there? A there? Anyway, um, that just seems a bit odd to me. Probably just to stop the sugar cane from going away. You could do that with uh, um, string. And sure, this could be pretty cool for like showing off texture packs. Uh, um, you know, you just need to un, uh, yeah, unlock um, the settings uh, so that you can change out to the texture packs. And this would be pretty cool because it's like, oh, you can show off every block. Well, other than that, why would you really use this area? Because um, ninety percent of the blocks here you would have already seen. Like, is there a block here that you haven't seen before? Because for me, I've seen all of these at some point uh, um, at playing playing this game. When you, when about, I started playing about like 2013 now, so that's like six years. Oh, I've been playing this game for about six years now. Um, oh, yeah. So, um. Yeah, so you've got that, but um, I'm just going to go into creative because this is a big world and uh, um, I'm just going to need to fly around to show everything off. Unlock all settings and activate cheats. Come on, there we go. And personal game mode, creative. So yeah, hold on. Yeah, so there's barrier blocks on top of. The you know you could have just put a string there, dude. Seriously. Anyway, and then there's uh, this. Yeah, you have to park all, all the way over here. Does that look like fun? Because it's not particularly challenging at all, unless you don't know where all the barrier blocks are. And even then, um. We go back to like here, you can get down here where you're not supposed to, and then you can get down here and here. And I think I even managed to jump from here, yeah, to there. And yeah, so that they're easy ways to get stuck. Uh, but I do think you're actually supposed to read this, and I think this has it or something, yes. Yeah, so according to this, uh, I didn't. I uh, did. Uh, so according to this, yeah. So you have. To, so um, I can't really point at the screen right now because you can't see me. But um, basically, the squares with dots in them are um, safe ones, and the, the, you start from the bottom left hand the, the corner. And you go over to the next page, and this is just long and tedious. Also, you take over half your health doing this, so if you mess up twice, you're dead. And you have to go all the way back there, just uh, to uh, um, have another go at this. So yeah, so what do you get for going all the way across here, and then up here? You get your biome domes, and you have to collect a bunch of stuff. Now, that is just like, yeah, like, that'll kill like five, ten minutes. Also, you don't get any weapons, and it, uh, um, if I go down here. And then through here. Your, I nearly died here because withers and blazers spawn down here. And bearing in mind, if you die here, there's no spawn point up there, so you have to go all the way back to the beginning, go through that whole minecart section, then you have to do the parkour all over again, and then get back here. 
Also, sure, because they did actually manage to kill me. So, yeah. That is very, very bad. Like, come on. Couldn't you have put a spawn point somewhere? Like, even if it was um, before the parkour, that would have meant that you didn't have to go all the way from the beginning again. I mean, at least, like, spawn point. Have a spawn point up here. Like, seriously, if you're going to put mobs there, don't make me respawn half away, half, well, in, on the other, literally on the other side of the map. Um. So, yeah, and then you just have little domes where you go collect stuff. And yeah, it does look nice. Um. Also, on the walls here, you won't really be able to see this in survival. Like, not even if you use a map, because they just all look that they're illegible on the map, but these are all of the splash techs. So hello Simuru Simuru, I think that's an I think that um is referring to not I think or something. My life for A I U R. A U R I don't know. Um but you have all the different splash techs and you can see are those a bunch of barrier blocks there? Ah, no. They're just, they're just floating water. Okay. Um, and then you have massive sugar cane. And, like, all the builds in here, they look really good. Um, the builds here, look, like, you can see them for yourselves. The builds look really nice. Like, I will say that. These builds are epic and I... I don't think I could do them in a million, billion years, probably because I'd give up, like, five minutes in and just go play something else. Um, and then over here we have the redstone area. Now, I was really excited for this because, oh, redstone! You can uh, you can show off, like, some of the cooler stuff with redstone, and, and this is really detailed uh, building. Um, but you start off down there, all you do is flick a few levers, and you get in, and it's just like, okay. Well, I guess you have to make it easy for people to get in some way. Also, uh, I just hacked it, hacked it there. And then you come up here, and uh, what's this? To the vault. Yeah. Careful not to step on that. I imagine you go all the way up there, and you accidentally step on that pressure pressure plate, and you have to walk. All the way back. At least it doesn't have any annoying parkour. So then here you have to uh, go to these and just like uh, turn on all of the redstone lamps. Uh, I don't know why you're supposed to get that to turn stay on, but I just got bored halfway through and just went into creative and got a redstone torch. If you want to break somebody's redstone, just place redstone torches everywhere. Might. I you really could just take the minecart out and put it on there. You no need for a dispenser. Daylight sensor. Bam. Trip wire hook. Throw an item on there. Or just place a redstone torch. I don't think I figured out how to do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so basically you have the two redstone torches here. That are powering the pistons. But because that one's powered, that one can't push it. So that stays like that. And you have that basically updating the redstone. Which would turn one of them off. Meaning that the other one can push it. But you can replace this with literally any other redstone input. You, you could literally just get a button and do the exact same thing, thing basically. And then he just puts all of them together, basically. No. Okay. Is there a button for this? Or something? I don't know. I got bored of this anyway, either way. Oh. I just put 
I just broke all the redstone. I got because I got bored. I just, like what? How? Why would you even build this? Because this isn't even helpful for people who want to do it in survival. Because you're you're using bedrock. I mean, sure you could use some other non-movable object, but come on, bedrock. Why would you use bedrock? I, I, it would it would be more useful like, to la label all of the uh, blocks that can't be moved by slime blocks because. E even I don't know all of them. Like, I know furnaces and dispensers can, but I'm, that might not even be true in bedrock because um, you, you can move it, certain stuff, so. I'm supposed to turn this off by flipping that lever, flipping that lever, done. Like, simple. And then we have uh, this side. Bam. Bam. Well, does, does this look fun to you? Just going around here and just like pressing a bunch of buttons seem fun to you. Hold on, I'm just going to um, grab the zombies out of here just to make this easier or quicker. There we go. Yeah, imagine me having to spawn all those zombies in by pressing these buttons. It would take bleeding forever. Um, at least use stone buttons because say uh, at least you can press them faster. And in this, you're supposed to put a bunch of items. Well, I don't even think this works properly. Like, if I put all the coal in here that I can. Yeah, it doesn't even work properly. Like, seriously. Oh, it refills with coal. So, yeah, I guess it could work. If you just took tons of uh, tons and tons of coal out of there. Yeah, there we are. Well, there's no indication that this chest refills, because some do and some don't. So, for all I know, that could uh, just be all the coal you get and then... Uh, Nothing more, and that's what most people would assume. And as, sim as simple as flipping the first lever. And this one? Well, let me just go get some coal out of here. Coal in there. Oh, I need a bunch more coal. There we go. Ah, you're going to need a certain amount. So, I'm just going to have to keep on taking stacks over here. Ah! So, like... One, two, three, four... Yeah, there we go. You just have to put a certain amount in there. Oh, that's full of coal anyway. Didn't even notice that. First lever. Yep. Second lever. Nope. Third lever. Nope. Fourth lever. Nope. There. Wait, what's that on? Yeah, sorry, I. <laughs> ah, I. Ip it up, it up. And then there's. This thing. Which I've never ever seen anybody use ever. So I don't even know what the freaking point of this thing is. I guess we have a lever there and then we have to get a redstone there somehow. And it plays an extremely loud sound effect. Yeah, oh, it's just not that loud. It should see the dragon dying. And what do you get for all of that, Hassle? Let's have a diamond armor. I mean, come on. Like, what am I going to do with this? I guess it's going to make the um, biodome thing easier. Well, unless you, what, unless you uh, knew about this map in advance, how would you know to come to the redstone area to do all of that so you can get diamond armor so you can not die? As easily. But anyway, after 
And then uh, right next door to that, we have this area, which I'm not even 100% sure I have supposed to go in here. Because, like, seriously, how? Am I supposed to climb through here? Ah, yeah, there's a hole here. So you're supposed to go through all of that. And probably find something to unlock that, which I cannot be asked to do. Uh, and I didn't even find this place in survival last time. I just got bored and the uh, um, creative mode uh, my way over here because I, like I said, I just got bored. And it's just giant mobs. Like for all that work, going through all of those spawn eggs, and for what giant mobs? Like I could do. You could probably do this in a normal survival world. It's probably just like a command block to summon in with like a custom NBT tag. Like seriously, why would I want to go through all of that just to look at giant mobs? Seriously. Anyway, moving on to the last area. The enchantment area. And again, this is a really nice build. Build and it, uh, uh, that takes you back to the vault, so hopefully you don't accidentally step on that. And... What does ha any of this have to do with enchanting? We have a lever and a thicket. Does nothing. Uh, I think there's supposed to be like, um... Sporting up the... Um... End rods. I think that's supposed to be a tap or something. So this is a kitchen. What does that have to do with enchanting? <laughs> it's nice how they give you speed though. Especially if you're not in creative. Uh, it's like a like, classroom, so this is supposed to be like a school. Again, what does that have to do with enchanting? Like, where do I go to learn about enchanting? There's toilets. Yeah, but where's the enchanting? Why do they have to? Like, sh they're, these rooms should, like, if you're building, it's important that you, every room has a point. Otherwise, people are just going to get lost and confused. It's like, where, where am I going? Why is any of this here? Why is it not just straight to the point? Showing me, telling me about enchanting and everything. And I think that's from Minecraft Story Mode. And you wouldn't really know that unless you played through Story Mode. Which has a boring ass story either way. Anyway, so why? Ah, uh, here we go. So, art, art and design. History and culture. What does any of this have to do with enchanting? Like, computer man. Yeah, but what? Okay, here we go. Language and arts. Minecraft is all about creating your own story. Students have written their own. Okay, so that has nothing to. Do that tells you nothing about enchanting. And beyond the enchanting tables, this has nothing to do with enchanting. So this area is completely pointless. Right, seriously, right, when I'm building like a small area in Minecraft, and it really doesn't have that much of a point, I'm just like building it for building sake I get demotivated like I have like part of a tree in a building world uh, that uh, I never finished because I just got demotivated because I really had no reason to build it because I know it's probably going to look poop uh, um, when I'm finished so how can you build this entire thing and remain motivated when none of it has any bloody point weather okay does, does this affect me? No. Can I punch you? No. What if I break this block? Do you care? 
Oh, he died. Hmm. Why if I... If I do that. Oh no, he's suffocating. Ah, now he's broke. Yeah, well this was a... Uh, this was... Oh, he's dead. This must have took a while to sail plow. Does this respawn him? Yep. I'm just going to cheat my way through this. Yeah, so about after the... Um, Redstone bit, I got bored and I went in and flew, flew around. And I didn't even go do this bit. There we go, I should do it. Oh, wait. Yeah, but this part is really clever. Press that. Oh, he's dead. Um. Yeah, I think that's just like self promotion or something. I don't know. This. Uh, I was just talking about like a specific thing. I don't know what that's about. Um, there's like this enough bunch of countries. Hey, nope. Right, so we have. An hand in there. I don't know. What do we have over here? Hey, there's a jet place called Java. I thought it was just a rubbish coding format. So, there was ultimately no reason to come here. This is not very interesting. So, um, where do I learn about enchanting? No, seriously, you, you have this entire building. And that, uh, you have an enchantment table here, surrounded by books. Where do you think you would go to learn enchanting? But no, that has nothing to do with enchanting. Hold on, it could just be that. I didn't read the thing on the map. Let's go see the map. What does the map call it? I could just go painting, painting down. What does that call it? The Academy, okay. So it doesn't say that it has anything to do with enchanting, but um, looking at it, it, you may, you know, what are you going to think it's for? Like you have um, enchanting, redstone, biomes, mobs, but no, that's not enchanting, that's random shit. Like, come on! At least keep with the theme and don't break it uh, on the last one. But ultimately, why do I think this has been naff, even the 
even when I, throughout this entire thing, I have been like praising um, the builds and how good the builds look. Well, it because it doesn't matter how good the builds look. Why would I come back to this after, like, flying around it for five minutes? Go on, give me a reason to come back to this in, like, five years. Five years. Like, why would I come back to this after I've done ev uh, done everything uh, in, uh, hit in the uh, biome domes? I probably die 50 million times uh, between uh, the parkour and the biome domes. Especially because even when you do get the right one, you, you can't... This world does tend to lag. And you're probably just gonna jump, lag, and then just fall into a pit. Like, seriously. Alright, come on, give me a reason to come back to this. Heck, even in a week. Come, give me a reason to come back to this in a week. After I have, uh, you know, get, gotten all the things from the biome domes. For some reason. Like, for some reason, say, say I'm a masochist and I decide to get all the things in the biome dome. Because that's not going to be fun. That's not going to bring, bring, bring me entertainment. That's just going to be like... Oh. Poppy got that. Oh. Danny Lion got that. Oh. Whatever that is. Got that. And then just like, bring it back here and say, like, oh, well that's done. Right. Let me see if I can actually see what you get for doing that. There's probably going to be some redstone under here. Yeah, hello. Uh, that's a clone block. So that clones out, so whenever you take stuff out of it, hello. Ah, yes. Wait, so does that mean if I change this? Hold on. That should mean if I put like a redstone torch there, and I open this, and I take the stuff out. And then, yeah, yes, yeah, redstone torch. There we go. Unless we turn that off. Um, where are you even supposed to put the stuff? There's a book in there. I should read the book. Uh, Poppy, dandelion, melon, carrot, lily pad, beetroot, never wart, red mushroom, from a block, chorus fruit. Yeah, why would I bother getting any of this? Like, what? What is this point? Um, I have my keyboard hooked up, I might as well see if I can just like cheat in the items. I mean, th this game isn't very good at keeping you from cheating, so Poppy, Dandelion, Melon, Carrot. Yeah, that's um, done. Okay, now what? Oh. Now you give me a sword. Now you give me a sword after I have killed. Uh, um, after I've after I've gone down here. After I've gone all the way down here and uh, d up here, past the rivers, past the blazes, round here, 
Up here. In here. Past even more withers. Oh, look, there's a chest there. Grab a book. Talking about the nether. Past even more withers. Just to get a bleeding nether ward which has a wither protecting it. Now you give me a diamond sword. Heck, any type of sword to protect myself. And not only that, but after I've gone over here, down here, in here, up here, past a uh, shulker spawner, past two more shulkers, up here, which is pitch black, up here, and up here, just so. I can get chorus flowers. Like seriously. Like you didn't give me any anything to defend myself before. Like sure, I can make it myself. Oh, I, yeah, you give me the, the stuff to make myself a diamond sword, and then my reward is a diamond sword. So yeah, if you know to go back or go up past the fuck ton of shulkers, you can get a diamond sword. But where's the crafting table? Like seriously, crafting table. I'm gonna go look for a crafting table, because I can't see one here. I guess if you went all the way out here... Up here... And this takes forever, even in creative. Why? Why can't you, why can't you just build a little area in the nether through a nether portal, a little area in the end through an end portal or something? Like seriously, you didn't have to do this. And out of here somehow. And then there's not going to be any crafting tables in this village. There's a chest with fish and seeds and a book in there. But no crafting table because there's not the old uh, library in here. So then you'd have to go out of here over the parkour. Once again, and by, at this point, you've probably got this shit memorized. Up here, into here, and then up here, and over here, to use this crafting table. Like, seriously. You shouldn't, I shouldn't need to do that to do this. To just not, just to get a diamond sword, which you reward with me with either way. Also, I've lost my sticks. They've, they've just disappeared. I don't know how. So, yeah, again, what would be the point of me playing this, like, in another week or so? Like, there's no survival element. It's just like, oh, well, you've done these boring, monotonous things. And that's everything. And you wouldn't want to do any of this ever again because it's not fun. But let me emphasize this. Would you want to do this parkour again and again and again because you kept on dying to rivers and blazes? Um, and, and, and then uh, Shulk is only to find out that you only get a diamond sword, which would only be useful in that said part. Or, and the, or, and the, then they do the redstone bits, not realizing that the redstone area gives you some armor. Which would only help you survive that, and even then, uh, you know, why? Why? What's even the point? Because then you're only going to use the armor for that area, and again, you get rewarded with an item that you only get to use in that area, which you can craft from that area in the first place, so why? Just why? And then, 
You do a complicated mini game. Mini game just like doing whatever with those eggs, spawning eggs. Just to look at giant mobs. And then you. Uh, and then for the last area, you just get a bunch of random shit that you're not really going to care about or even remember like five minutes after you've uh, uh, stopped playing this game to go play, um, I don't know, Smash Bros or Pokemon or something. Like, seriously. Why is the... Oh, and you even have an overly complicated thing to do here. Now, what is all this about? Did I miss a chest explaining this or something? So, sure, you can download this. It is free, but free, and uh, I would be a lot angrier if I had to pay for this. But you can download this and just be like, oh, yeah, this is a nice. These are some nice builds. And um, this looks cool, but I have no real point to come back to this at all, ever. Now, let me just take a minute to go out of this world. And this is going to take a while because And go to another map that, yes, I did pay for, but it was relatively cheap. Ooh. And I think I managed to buy out, like, some leftover mine coins I had from uh, doing this other thing. Treeville. <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> this is Treeville. Um and uh, let's let's just compare this to the tenth anniversary one. I know it's not Oh, very fair being as this you do have to pay a bit of money for but um this is basically um how uh, the 10th anniversary world should have been set up you have the starting area which is you know a giant tree and it, uh, you know you have a bunch of houses around it so that provides a uh, survival aspect it's like oh you can load up Excuse me. You can load up this world. If you're not very good at building, then you get, but you basically get a free house. You know, just like go, just like okay, I want this house. You go in here. Uh, you decide what each room will be. Like you could have this room as a bedroom because there's beds here. And then have the, like. Uh, this room, get rid of the beds, and I can have this room as a storage room, so let me just get some bowels here. You know, just pop some bowels in there. Bam, you've got a storage room. We can have a couple more bowels here. You know, and then uh, um, over here, you can go down and you can have like mini rooms in here, so like an enchantment room, um, and whatever you want to put in this, this house. You know, you basically have a free little house instead of having to build one at the start. And then you have a house for your friend, and your friend's friends, and your friend's 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 friends! Like, you have so many houses you could host, like, a little realm on here. But not only that, oh, voice crack, but it is built in a normal world. So, if you want to go do some normal survival stuff, you just go out here. Like, okay, I want some trees to make some charcoal or I want to start a mine so I'm going to just like dig a hole here or go um, splunking in these caves and uh, that gives this world a survival aspect so this gives me reason to come back to this world again and again um, again and again because not only does it look nice 
but it also has serves a function in uh, being uh, good for hosting a survival world for not only you but your friends. And uh, this actually, like I said, this actually makes me want to come back to this world again and again and again. And you can even use this as like a little meeting area for like all the admins of the realm. It's like, okay, um, we need to decide on this and that, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, everybody, that's all decided. Goodbye, everybody. Um, and I don't, and I'm not exactly sure how you get down, but if you have some elytra, um, if I get some on me quickly. Eli. Right, come on. Here we go. Elytra. I just fly down. Look how cool this is. Just just flying around on your elytra. Well, this thing, like. I wanna go down here. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, we go. I don't have any rockets on me right now. I should have spawned some in. Actually, cool thing you can do in creative is we you can fly while using elytra. Yeah, this is Andrew's having a little bit of fun, just like flying in and out of these branches, weaving my way through. Flying underneath here. Like you can even make like a little um Elytra like course out of this. Like go all the way up. Start from the top and just like weave your way through the branches and dive bomb underneath the bridge try not to hit to into the little trees and then just um, fly all the way around it or something you know you could probably come up with something better but you know that this you know gives me more things to do than the 10 year anniversary one you have little stables for horses and um, just in case you don't want to build your own like you have pretty much everything you need for a survival world and it, uh, while it's not perfect because um, like the top of the tree does tend to spawn some zombies so you might want to light that up it gives me more reason to play the reason to play this and come back to this uh, time and time again um, where uh, um, the 10 year anniversary doesn't really make me want to come back to it at all, it just makes me want to continue on with my life and go play some Smash Bros or um, another Minecraft world or where, or try and figure out what the sheep is trying to do. Okay, you are one weird sheep. Anyway. And this has a lot of detail. If uh, uh, probably uh, just as much detail as the 10 year anniversary world does and while yes again this is paid for and uh, the 10 year anniversary is free I don't think that I should excuse the 10 year anniversary world from uh, being scrutinized like cool you gave us a free world but why are we gonna do in it like what is the point like you might as well not have given this us it at all Really, because it, it's made as much of an impact on my life. It, you know, if it if it never even existed. Like, come on, guys. Like, you have to give us some reason to want to play your world, like whether it's free or not. Like, same for skin packs. Like, there's a reason why why I'll. You have to give me a reason why uh, I want to use your skin packs. Like. Um, with skins, um, I'm currently using Captain Rex, to, Rex from um, the Star from the Star Wars uh, prequel era because he's one of my favourite characters. Um, I love most of the, these characters like Anakin, Obi Wan, especially from the Clone Wars, um, Qui Gon Jinn, uh, Princess Leia, not Leia, that's uh, Amidala, General Grievous. Uh, um, Count Dooku, uh, Darth Sidious, Darth Maul, um, Windu, um, 
it's, it's a, you know, I'm not gonna list, list off all the names, but I, you know, I love these characters from like seeing them in the Clone Wars, and it, uh, um, you know, I like these characters and the Mario characters, but and it, I might want to be a ghast, or you know, I might like these animals, but uh, um, let's see, why would I want to be any of the beach body skin? I guess if it's the summer, maybe, but there's no real reason for me to use them or. Um, maybe if I'm doing like an RP in a bio, maybe biome settlers. Um, campfire if it's like Halloween, I guess, or Chinese mythology. Like some of these, I'll probably never use. Like, why would I be either of these two? Like, what? Why do I don't even know how I ha why I have these? Two. Like, where did I even get these two from? Um, I, I've never used any of from the Greek mythology or this one, but I think that actually came with a world I downloaded. Um, so that that's I think that that was to do with sports and stuff. Holiday, you know, if, if I feel particularly festive. Legacy, yeah, kind of guess if I want to use different variations of Steve or if I feel nostalgic for them, which I kind of do because I, I they were the only skins I had pretty much, um, back then. Um, Snowy Journey. Uh, but yeah, most of these I probably will never use. I, I've used some from the Banjo Kazooie one because I loved Banjo Kazooie when I was little, um, and you know uh, the Banjo Kazooie and other guys uh, like Master Chief, um, Creeper. You know you have some iconic characters here that you would use because they're iconic and you love them. But you know unless you know there's n there's some skin packs here that I really wouldn't use, and that's basically what's going on here. I like this because you have a giant tree and you have a reason to play this because, you know, it's survival and it's really well lit up because, um, they put a lot of glowstone on the carpets and while you still get some mobs here and you can light it up a bit and you probably will need to because, again, there's a creeper right, right there, um, most of the work is done for you, like, all the building, most of the lighting up, you just need to place a few torches around the place or something, uh, to uh, stop mobs from spawning, but this is a really nice area, and you can play survival in it. Where in the 10-year anniversary, it's a nice area, but you don't really have anything to do. Like this is a this is a survival world that just so happens to have a really nice area. The 10-year uh, anniversary is a really nice area, and that's pretty much it. With some frustrating mini games and boring. It's it's just re just not no reason like. Sure, you can go like, oh, that's a nice little east, right? that's a nice little thing, but other than that, it's just like no reason to play it really. Um, even like IBX Toy Cat, he got, um, I watched his live stream and you could tell he was struggling for like even commentary. He was like, uh, he is not, he, you could see like how he was uh, playing it. He's like, yeah, there's not really much to this. Um, like, I can't, I, I've got to keep the people entertained, but. There's just not much here, like, and he even uh, just like resorted to, um, put using the um, skin pad where that replaces everything with his face because he was just running out of stuff to talk about. And it, yeah, it's just this is that is a bit naff. Where and um, you know, you just it's just boring. Like, it's not, and it's not like. Uh, Toy Cat is new to uh, and like commentary and stuff. He's been doing commentary for years, and even somebody um, for for about like seven years, he's been doing it for more years. And I've been playing Minecraft. You know, even he struggled at um, coming up with commentary for the for that. For where this, you know, like I've not struggled to comment on anything. It's just like it's a nice build. You've got lots of houses. You can make. You can host a realm on this, which you can't do in the 10th anniversary. You can, it has the survival aspect. And yeah, definitely worth, pick, worth picking this up. Also, if somehow IBX Toy Cat sees this, definitely do, do Treeville um, in like um, that semi. What is it? Semi weekly or semi monthly um, store Sunday thing you do. Like whenever it's pretty much not. See Sunday you do the store thing. The Treeville is definitely worth checking out because it is a nice area, and I definitely, I would definitely suggest picking this up. Um, even if you do have to, like, go round with with some uh, plant 
with some lanterns and light the area up a bit. Right, I would be happy to just host a survival realm on this. Hey, seriously. Just like some light there. Bit of light there. You know, just light it up a bit. So mobs don't spawn. And then... Now you've got a will. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll uh, see you guys uh, um, in the next video probably, um, if I ever stop placing down these lanterns, because it is actually a little bit addictive just going around and it's like, uh, pop. it is a little bit addictive doing this. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, I'll see you guys in the next video, um, bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and uh, the ring a ding uh, that uh, notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.